In Singapore, a highly anticipated gathering came to a close. Speaking after meeting with the U.S. Secretary of Defense, the Chinese Minister of Defense, General Wei Feng He, told reporters it went smoothly. He said the talks were honest and sincere. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said they covered global and regional issues. Al Jazeera understands it included discussion of the war in Ukraine, as well as some of the regional flashpoints, including Taiwan and the South China Sea. What we've seen um, on the South China Sea is that despite the pandemic, um, problematic actions in the South China Sea have continued. These include, number one, um, Chinese encroachments upon the exclusive economic zones of various coastal states. The defense chiefs met on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue, the most significant security summit in the region. Organizers say the importance of the three-day conference is mostly about what happens behind closed doors. If you're one of the more than two dozen defense ministers that come to the Shangri-La Dialogue, you're coming not just to speak, but in order to have a range of bilateral meetings. Secretary Austin also met with defense officials from Southeast Asia as the U.S. seeks to reassure countries of its commitment to the region while Beijing's influence continues to rise. China's engagement on the economic front has been sustained not just um, in the last year or two, but it's been sustained over decades um, in terms of its trade engagement with the region. While most of the world's attention will be on the US and China, for other countries in the region, the summit is also a chance to re-establish their defense priorities and connect with their peers. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida told delegates his country wants to contribute to peace in the Asia Pacific. We must not repeat the scourge of nuclear weapons. The threat of nuclear weapons, let alone the use, should never be tolerated. As the Prime Minister of the only country that has suffered the devastation of atomic bombings, I strongly appeal for this. The Shangri-La Dialogue is taking place after a two-year hiatus and with growing concerns about the region's stability, experts say it's a timely return. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Singapore.